math student. Today's video, we will tackle about Unit 4, the Teacher a School Culture Catalyst, focuses on formalization of structure by Hoy and Switland, also the Mintzberg's coordinating mechanism of structure. So, our objectives of this video, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to knowledge, discuss the concept of formalization in school culture and Mintzberg's coordinating mechanism of structure, skills, conduct a group research of the differentiated three basic dimensions proposed by Mintzberg, effective value formalization and Mintzberg's coordinating mechanism of structure in a school setting. As a recap, Paul Adler and Brian Boris in 1996 offered a possible solution as they interpreted formalization, and that is formalization and centralization. Informalization is a system of written rules, regulations, procedures, and instruction, while centralization, the hierarchy of authority. Now, we will tackle more about formalization of structure by Hoy and Switzerland in school culture. It is an organizational structure, rules, and regulation defining school life for teachers, students, and administrators. It has two school cultures, enabling and hindering school culture. In enabling school culture, it is a hierarchy that helps rather than hinders. This is a system of rules and regulations which guides problem solving rather than punishes failure. While on the other hand, hindering school culture, it is a hierarchy that impedes a system of rules and regulation that is coercive. So, we'll go back to enabling school culture. Enabling school culture is a way of helping students breed the success. The teacher keeps the balance skills in order to facilitate the process of developing and implementing strategies. This is viewed as opportunity, correct the mistakes, seek natural solutions, and have an optimistic view. For example, the relationship and interaction are characterized by openness, trust, respect, and appreciation. On the other hand, hindering school is a culture of barrier of the students. One of the things is distraction or interruption that prevents students from from focusing on their studies, which lead to having mental health disorder like feeling neglect or poverty. Their problem is views as constraints, punish mistakes, and forced consequences. So, Wick and Sutcliffe in 2001 introduced which they discovered the five processes of mindful school to promote in school organization. First, focus on failure. Second, reluctance to accept simplification. Third, sensitivity to basic operations. Fourth, commitment to resilience. And lastly, difference to expertise. Now, let's move forward to means per coordinating mechanism of structure. But before that, we will know first who is Henry Mintzberg. Henry Mintzberg is an author of 10 books and has written over 100 articles including two Harvard Business Reviews. His research has focused on issues of general management and organization, more specifically the forms of organizing and the strategy formation processes. Henry Mintzberg in 1992-2009 suggests that organization can be differentiated along three basic dimensions. First is the key part of the organization, that is the part of organization that plays the major role in determining its success or failure. The second one is the prime coordinating mechanism and that is the major method the of the organization uses to coordinate its activities and activities and lastly the type of decentralization this is used to extend to which the organization involves subordinates in the decision-making process so let's 
first tackled about the first basic dimension and we, this is the key part of organization. It have five key parts of organization. The first one is the strategic apex in which the top management and its support staff will manage such as superintendent and administrative cabinet. The second one is the operative course are the workers who actually carry out the organization tasks. A teacher who operates the core in school district. For instance, they have a school uh, competition. The third one is middle line in which they have middle and lower level management. In school district, principals are the middle level managers. The fourth one is the techno structure. Our analysts such as engineers, accountants, planners, researchers, and personal managers. In school district, in divisions such as instruction, business, personal, public relations, um, research and development and also like the constitute of the techno structures the last key part of the organization is support staff are the people who provide indirect services now we will tackle in the second or the second basic dimensions proposed by means Burke. the second basic dimension of an organization is its prime coordinating mechanism. The following are include first is direct supervision, means that one individual is responsible for the work of others. The second one is standardization of the work process that exists when the content of work is specified or programmed. The third one is standardization of skills which exists when the kind of training necessary to the work is specified like the like doing the state certificates required for the various occupants of a school district the fourth one is standardization of output exists when the result of the work are specified examples include our competency testing of teachers and state mandated this testing of students the last one is mutual adjustment exists when the work is coordinated through informal communication the third basic dimension of an organization is the type of decentralization it have um, three types of decentralization the first one is vertical decentralization is the distribution of power down the chain of command or shared authority between superordinates and subordinates in any organization the second one is horizontal decentralization is the extent to which non-administrators, including the staff, make decisions or shared authority between line and staff. The last one is selective decentralization, is the extent to which decision-making power is delegated to different units within the organization. In school districts, these units might include instruction, business, pers business, personnel, public relations, and research and development divisions. Since you know the three basic dimensions, I have a, another suggested by Ms. Burke. In addition to our lesson, Ms. Burke suggests that the strategy, strategy on organization adapts and the extent to which it practices the strategy that result in five structural configuration like um, simple structure, machine bureaucracy, professional bureaucracy, divisionalized form, and advocacy. I will not go deeper with this because those five structural configuration is the same with the three basic dimension. 
that I mentioned earlier, but I will state a small discussion of a structural configuration. The first configuration is simple structure is the same with strategic apex as its K parts, which uses direct supervision and employs vertical and horizontal centralization. Examples are relatively small corporations, new government departments, medium-sized retail stores, and small elementary school districts. The second one is machine bureaucracy, has the techno structure as its key parts, which uses standardization of work processes as its prime coordinating mechanism and employs limited horizontal decentralization. The third one is um, professional bureaucracy has the operating co core as its key part. The goals of professional bureaucracies are to innovate and provide high quality services. Examples of this form of organization include universities, hospitals, and large law firms. The fourth one is divisionalized form has the middle line as middle line as its key part which their decision making is decentralized at the divisional level for example um, a school district may resemble the divisionalized form when, when it has separate schools for physically handicapped learning disabled and so on the last one uh, the last the last configuration is the adhocracy has the support staff as its escape part uses mutual adjustment as a means of coordination and maintains selected patterns of decentralization the primary goal is to innovate and rapid adaptation to changing environments example of adhocracies includes aerospace and electronic industries research and development firms and very innovative school districts so that's the end of my report i mean that's the end of my topic with and i hope you gain something about the topic of my topic which is formalization of structure and means per coordinating mechanism of structure that's all thank you for listening